Hey guys, it's Kevin with Mix Coach. Behind me is John right there working away. Got the door open, sun shining for once in a while. Uh, this month's session is a song called Mountaintop. It's by Little Roy Lewis and Lizzie Long. They're a couple of artists that are happen to be on my label. They've done really well. It's a kind of a relatively new act, even though that um, Roy has been around for ever since the like 50s or 60s. He, I mean, he's literally a legend on the banjo. Um, but this song, a few years ago, was nominated and won Bluegrass Recorded Song of the Year at the GMA Dove Award. So I wanted to give you guys the opportunity to mix the song. I was going to tell you a little bit about it. <clears throat> Excuse my voice. I, um, <laughs> I lost my voice yesterday. Um, you may be wondering, you know, why do we, why are there so many styles on, on Mix Coach? You know, we go from dance music one week to rock music the next week and then straight to bluegrass. And the reason is... You know, I want you guys to be well versed in all kinds of music because, you know, if you can find a niche to mix in, then that's that's a really a good shot for you to get consistent work. You know, you gain the trust of producers who mix a certain kind of music. And I think personally, and I think John agrees with this too, um, bluegrass music is one of the purest forms of music there is. Um, it's like jazz, um, not not the new kind of jazz but the old standard jazz it's like classical music classical music and bluegrass music and jazz music to me they're always timeless because they're real instruments they're not trendy the only trendy thing about them if anything is the kind of verb you use i mean really there's there's no other way to be trendy about it you know it's just well recorded music that will be around for hundreds of years i mean if you if you listen to, if you look at the course of bluegrass uh, instrumentation, arrangement, really hasn't changed that much in the last 50 or 60 years. So to learn to mix bluegrass is something that I really feel like would be um, giving you guys leverage on you know, learning how to apply pure tones and pure mixes and just pure music styles to your repertoire. So this month we're going to mix a bluegrass song. And I know i got some hardcore bluegrass fans on here too. And uh, Hello. Anyway, uh, Another thing about bluegrass is it's real. It's you know it's in right now. Sometimes bluegrass is not as in as it is you know in other times. But you know you got Mumford and Sons who is probably you know one of the it's one of the most popular groups now. And it's even though you know purist bluegrass purists probably wouldn't consider it bluegrass. It is bluegrass instrumentation, and you know they take that bluegrass sound um, a long way. Uh, a few years ago, there was a movie called Oh Brother, Where Art Thou? It was one of the, you know, it's a top-selling soundtrack, and it's almost all bluegrass music. So, um, let's see. I want to tell you just a little bit about this uh, this song. Now, this song is probably not what purists would call pure bluegrass because it's got drums on it, and bluegrass purists don't like drums. So, if you feel like you want to mix the drums in there, go ahead. Uh, if you don't want to mix the drums in there, you don't have to. Um, it's one of those things where you know it just really depends on how it strikes you. I mix the drums in there. There's some weird stuff going in on the on the snare track that I'll tell you about next week when I do a walkthrough. I'm going to walk through the whole session with you and kind of show you how I treated things, uh, the reason I did things a certain way. If you notice, there's two snare tracks. I'm going to show you why I did that. So anyway, uh, the song's got uh, acoustic bass, guitar, fiddle. It's got the drums, it's got mandolin on it, banjo, and it's got some background vocals. And of course Lizzie is, I think, singing the lead. Is that right? Lizzie's singing. And uh, I think uh, Roy's playing the banjo on it. So anyway, uh, I'm going to do a session walkthrough next week and uh, show you kind of my things. But if you've got any questions, be sure and um, comment under this video and uh, I'll try to address them when I do the walkthrough. Okay? So you guys have fun mixing some bluegrass and maybe we'll get to... The dance stuff, you know, maybe you can integrate some of the dance stuff in the bluegrass. No, don't do that. Just mix bluegrass. Okay, so you guys have fun, and I'll talk to you soon.